Cafets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to roast a whole chicken. I've got my whole chicken this hasn't really been washed cleaned or anything like that okay so the first thing that I want to do we're going to spatch cook this whole chicken so what we want to do is to just locate the backbone which is here and we are just gonna cut along the side of the backbone okay make sure your kitchen scissors are nice and sharp for this okay so that's one side done and then we just need to cut on the other side. Okay, beautiful. Let's leave this here. And we are just gonna flip it over like so. And then just gonna go in the middle here and just cut a little thing here so. And then you just wanna break it, okay? And then you're just gonna flip it over and this is how we do it okay very easy very very simple so now I just want to go ahead I'm gonna cut off some of that excess skin because I don't want any of that excess skin on my chicken when it's baking okay but it's entirely up to you if you want to cut it off or not See that? That looks beautiful. And yep, cut off some of that excess skin from the top. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead, wash off my chicken, get rid of all this impurities everywhere here. As you can see, we got some hairs going on. We're just gonna go ahead and just rinse this off and get rid of all of these extra hairs, feathers, and all that other stuff okay so to season i am going in with a little bit of olive oil i love adding olive oil to my chicken whenever i'm seasoning as this really helps for the seasoning to stick onto the chicken okay i'm also going in with some salt now i will be seasoning this chicken on both sides so please don't worry i also have my garlic powder putting a generous amount of garlic powder on there like so and I'm also seasoning the backbone piece of the chicken. This is my favorite part of the chicken, you know, to be very honest. And we go in with some fresh crushed black pepper. I also have some sazon and we're putting some on here like so. Some paprika as well. Some green seasoning. Over here I have some garlic butter and then I'm just going to be working that seasoning into my chicken like so. Okay. Also have that beautiful piece of gorgeous and sure to just make sure you season this beautifully and I am also going to add this garlic butter under the skin okay as this will help for the chicken to remain nice and moist while it's baking okay just push the butter on the skin put a generous amount of butter see this Pack it under the skin and that will just prevent the chicken from being dry when it's baking and all that stuff. Okay, it's a generous amount. That looks beautiful. Lots of butter under there.
So this is the roasting dish that I will be using and I'm just going in with some spray coconut oil. Okay, you wanna just coat a generous amount in there like so. Okay, this is the one that I'm using. And this roasting dish is from Home Bargains here in the UK. This is not sponsored. I actually bought this some time ago. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, just gonna take that bit out. And over here, I have some spring onions, some carrots. I have some onions. Okay, I'm just gonna just go underneath my chicken like so let's not forget our potatoes looking gorgeous just put a generous amount potatoes this is two medium potatoes chopped now you want to season this lightly with some salt just using some pink salt now you want to be mindful of the salt because bear in mind the chicken's juices while this is roasting will go on to this. Okay, looking gorgeous. I'm also just going to spray a little bit more of that coconut cooking spray on there like so. And then we're just going to put our rack back on here. Okay, gorgeous. Then I'm just going to go in with my chicken. Just place it on here like so. We're going to fix it in a second let's not forget this beautiful backbone piece here okay and make sure to get all of that leftover seasonings from the chopping board on here like so and I've got two extra pieces of butter so I'm just gonna put it on here like so and it's just going to roast nicely and melt over these vegetables as we're cook as it's roasting. Okay, now we're gonna put just a light little layer of seasoning on the top, just a little bit more green seasoning. Can never have too much green seasoning. Can never have too much. That looks gorgeous. Yes, beautiful. Just spread it nicely gorgeous and then we're topping it with a little bit of mixed herbs that looks amazing as well as some all-purpose seasoning just a little bit of paprika for color just a little bit of paprika for color yes just to give you a close up, this is how the chicken is looking. Guys, this is beautifully seasoned on both sides and it's going to be so nice, so crispy, gorgeous. Okay, so I have preheated my oven to 200 degrees. I'm gonna be baking this for an hour and 15, 20 minutes, okay? Preheat your oven to 200 degrees. We're going to be baking this for an hour and 20 minutes, okay? But I will be basting it every 20 minutes. So all the nice juices from the chicken that's going to go at the bottom to roast those vegetables, we're going to be basting it back onto the chicken as it roasts, okay? So beautiful. So guys, it's been about 20 minutes so far. If you look closely, you will see we have lots of beautiful juices from the chicken going on. So I'm just going in with my turkey baster and we're just basting the chicken back with all of those beautiful juices that's been released. Okay, guys, as you can see, that looks amazing. Okay, just want to baste the chicken. Bear in mind, I'm also baking my chicken uncovered, okay, because I want it to roast nicely, okay? I find that when the chicken is covered, it releases too much juices, and I don't like that, okay? I want this chicken to roast gently. So as you can see, 
so nice and the potatoes and all of the vegetables at the bottom are just gonna cook so gorgeously in all of that chicken juice listen this is just going to be amazing okay look at that see the juices make sure you baste it back on here like so okay now we will be basting this chicken at least four or five times and that is what's going to help for it to stay nice and juicy do you see this yes i know you can love it so i'm gonna push my chicken back into the oven for another 20 minutes then we're gonna take it out baste it again and i'm gonna show you how i do that so this is the second basting And back into the oven for another 20 minutes so guys my chicken had been going for the past one hour and this is gonna be the final 20 minutes okay so this is the third basting and as you can see we've got some beautiful color on that chicken but I still need to let it go for another 20 minutes okay so this is the third and the final basting before our chicken will be all cooked. Now my potatoes are already nicely cooked, so I'm not worried about that. So the good thing is we can just let this go. And the color on this chicken is absolutely beautiful. Listen, I just cannot wait to dive in so you guys can see how gorgeous it is cooked on the inside okay so like i said third and final basting back into the oven for 20 minutes and our chicken will be nicely done let me give you a close-up show you how it's looking so far so gorgeous mm -hmm. last 20 minutes to go and if i press into my potatoes you will see that they are nicely cooked See this nicely cooked but still holding up and these potatoes and carrots were cooked in this beautiful chicken juices that's dripping onto them yes so gorgeous back into the oven 20 minutes and i'll show you how it looks when it's all cooked so this is it all done guys look at this Look at how beautiful the color is on this. And it's nice and juicy. Plus my potatoes and carrots at the bottom is just gonna have so much flavor. But yes, this is my take on a whole roast chicken. See here, looking so nice. Yes, gorgeous. 